What's more important than danger messages coming from the tissues of the body is what your brain thinks those danger messages mean. And that's a, that's a really important reality. That, that you might need danger messages coming from the tissues of the body to be alerted to an event. But what your brain thinks those messages mean uh, is more important. Now, we would hope that if those danger messages are being triggered by a dangerous situation, we would hope that the brain concludes, yes, this is a dangerous situation and you need protecting. And that is normally what happens. But have a think about this reality and then have a think about your back scan report. Has anyone had a, uh, an X-ray, a CAT scan or, a, or an MRI on their spine? Raise your hand. Okay, so maybe half of you, a bit more. Uh, you, you probably got the report that's in an envelope that says confidential, only to be opened by your doctor, and you opened it. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. And then you read it. And it says things like degeneration. It says things like you have a broad-based disc bulge pressing on your faecal sac. And you might not necessarily know what a faecal sac is. I had a patient who described it once as a faecal sac, which <laughs> is not quite right, but... The, what information you get from the report changes what this, this, this danger messages mean. So we've just finished a, an experiment with 400 people that shows that if we give them their report and we explain that those things mean normal age-related adaptations, they have less pain when they bend over than if we don't explain that. So the danger message from the body is critical, but what it means is more critical. If you've had knee, knee x-rays, if you like, and someone has made the mistake of saying to you, it's bone on bone in there. <laughs> that says danger. That's, that's a critical determinant of meaning. So I would, I would suggest to all of the health professionals I ever come in contact with, it, unless it is bone on bone in there, which you probably really need to go in with an arthroscope to have a look, and it's almost certainly not the case, don't say it because it looks like it on an x-ray. 